Uh, all right, welcome back to our studio. Uh, my name's Mookie from The Independent, 88.5 FM and 88.5 FM.org. Some live music today, uh, which is always inspiring. We're always grateful for it. Christian Lee Hudson in studio right now. How you doing today? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Uh, my pleasure. Um, ChristianLeeHudson.com is the website. It's H-U-T-S-O-N for the, uh, for the uninitiated. That's right. And uh, first of all, who'd you bring with you today to uh, perform in our studio? Um, I brought my band. It's uh, Al Many uh, is playing. They're playing bass and singing, and Remy Morit playing drums. So this yeah. is the the configuration we'll see at Zebulon on uh, August fourteenth yeah. for the uh, for the LA show. Yep, just the three of us. So uh, our listeners have been, um, uh, we, we've been trying to get our listeners acclimated to your music a little bit. Uh, they may have heard you as a co-writer on various tracks and not even known about it, you know? Yeah, very um, sneaky. It's kind of crazy that the first song that we ever played, now you've been there, done that, but the first song that we featured of yours on the air on our local spotlight feature on the midday show is Get the Old Band Back Together. Oh, yeah. Which is um, kind of an interesting song to introduce our listeners <laughs> to, you know, right off the bat but yeah you know at least we're we're getting them in the door and uh that's off the uh the beginners album and sure enough there's a uh, new album called quitters which is available right now and today we're going to get three songs from the new record we do have a bunch to talk about but uh let's get right into the music if you don't mind and uh, i think the first song that we're going to get into is state bird from uh christian lee hudson on the independent 88.5 fm Siblings, are they dating? Is the game that we are playing at the festival in Kentucky? You say they are definitely dating. I'm a baby, tall and softish, forty dollars in my pocket. Gives you a lemon, cut a hole in it, smoke some resin. I don't think that this is working. I don't think that this is working. Yeah, I don't think that this is working. I don't think that this is working. There you go. Live music in our studio on 88.5 FM. The song was called State Bird. It is a brand new song off the Quitters album, which is available right now from Christian Lee Hudson. Brilliantly done. So uh, I alluded to it before. I mean, you've aligned yourself with some of our favorites. And we're talking about uh, Connor Oberst and Phoebe Bridgers, 
uh, Meg Duffy, who's been putting out records under the name Hand Habits. Um, and uh, we're just uh, incredibly uh, grateful for you to be here. We feel like your music is consistently honest and thought provoking and relatable. And I don't want to pigeonhole your stuff into any particular genre, but for, for me, it's Americana at its core. Have you always sort of gravitated towards that style of music? I have like, uh, thank you, first of all. Uh, but, uh, I, I always liked when I was, when I was growing up, um, my dad used to play these Hank Williams tapes in the car. That was kind of the only music that I heard when I was really young. And then living in LA, um, I don't know. I, I didn't know about the LA songwriters that were around. I didn't really know about Randy Newman when I was a kid mm. or anything. So all the people that wrote songs, which is what I kind of wanted to do, were all ways like these country adjacent folky people. So yeah, I've always listened to or been, that always seemed like an avenue that was mm -hmm. where you could explore uh, narrative in songs. Yeah. It's, it seems like sonically the sound maybe has changed a little bit from this sort of indie sound, for lack of a better way of saying it. Um, you know, used to be this sort of uh, really uh, simplified Americana kind of country leaning music, you yeah. know, um, but uh, you've, you've grown a little bit, uh, it, it appears. It's fun to, yeah, I mean, I the bands I grew up listening to in L.A. were all like indie rock bands that mm -hmm. were happening here, like Rilo Kiley and stuff like that, the local um, L.A. indie rock bands. And I, yeah. I don't know. It's fun to get to explore some of that kind of mm -hmm. stuff as well. So uh, speaking of the new record, Quitters, again, which is out right now, um, if you could speak in just broad strokes, uh, what would you say this album as a whole really is, is all about? Um, I think it's a lot about I um, just like uh, becoming an adult in, in a lot of ways, finding your, you know, I feel like life happens in seasons or whatever. And beginners is a lot about growing up and going through high school and, and changing and figuring out what the world is all about. And I feel like this one is about hitting another kind of, uh, uh, the period of changes like that. Um, there's, you know, lots of still like theme of, I think like loss and, um, uh, yeah, sh shifting the world around you mm -hmm. as well. Uh, it it is not as a record that was made in the pandemic, but not a pandemic record. But I feel like all of us that is a massive change that all of us are going through. So even if it's not reflected in the music, I'm sure that there's some of that has seeped in as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of the pandemic, do you feel like we're having a sort of renaissance, if you will, as far as all of these great releases happening right now, sort of inspired by what we've all been going through? Kind of. Yeah. I mean, there's so much good music coming out right now. So many great songs being written and yeah, all, all of us are trying to process like a global, uh, you know, uh, tragedy. So there, I think it's coming out in a lot of people's songs. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are, let, let's get into another song and yeah. then we'll, we'll come back and like I said, have a chin wag, like the British people say, I, I yeah. I've been told that's a uh, slang for, for conversation. Yeah. Chin wag. Makes I've never sense heard to it, me, but, man. Yeah. I'm down. Uh, so, a song is called strawberry lemonade. It shows up on the quitters album, uh, from Christian Lee Hudson available right now. Let's get into the music. Then back, uh, here in our studio immediately after on 88.5 FM. In a dream, drinking strawberry lemonade Feeding quarters to a pinball game And getting paid to look the other way My foam fingers slap me right in the face I bang my head on the plexiglass I can't remember where my house is at And this mom's against drunk driving And keeps playing on a loop in the back of the cab what a pitiful hill to climb Every night of my evil little life To await to the end of the line I swear I'm really done this time I say goodbye to my oldest friend Could barely string together sentences then A hundred 
dollar bill folded into his hand I'll see you on the other side of the fence I need headphones to fall asleep I close my eyes and I pretend to be in my little room on Rossbury Stepdad reading Treasure Island to me Pain is a way you can move through time And visit people that are gone in your mind And smooth over every wrinkle you find The truth can't hurt you if you know it's a lie I've had this thing that Joan said to me Circling in my head the last few weeks We were raised on dreams that keep Turning our fingers green On baby boomers last acid trip Pushing up a casket lid Just some jaggery and the petals in a basket Wrapped up in plastic Everything is an accident God's truth is elastic We sent a man to the moon and back again Strapped into a trash can Right, there you go. Uh, Strawberry Lemonade uh, was, in fact, the track. Uh, as we talk to you today, there's a, a brief lull, but you are playing some Southern California dates, including uh, the Casbah in San Diego, which is yeah. always a good time on August 11th. Uh, Pappy and Harriet out in the desert uh, immediately after that. And then uh, Zebulon in Los Angeles on, on August 14th. And then it appears you're going to hit the road with Phoebe Bridgers. Uh, what is your relationship like with uh, Phoebe, who's another musician who's beloved around here? Oh, she's my best pal. She's my she's my best friend, and it, it 
Yeah, I don't know. We just like to clown around and and write songs and hang out. So it'd be nice to. It's been quite a while since I've seen her. So it'd be mm-hmm. nice to do some shows and crack some jokes again. <laughs> Man, you've carved your own way, really, as this collaborator and and songwriter. And it feels like you know a lot of people. It feels like you run in some amazing circles, and people just are itching to collaborate with you. Has it always been easy to? work on a song with another person, you know, you, you, you tend to wear your heart, heart on your sleeve, you know, when you write personal lyrics and stuff like that. Uh, is it easy? To, is it getting easier? Did you ever have a problem with being so personal? Uh, yeah. I mean, I might be, uh, I might be having a getting, trying to get less and less personal or, or more. Um, I don't know. It, no, it, it, I don't think, I don't feel like it's always easy. Um, Sometimes you're just not, uh, I don't know when I work with people, like sometimes I'm just not in my feelings or whatever that day. And it's hard to get into it, but I feel like generally they're with people that you admire that you can get along with on a, uh, social level. It can, that's the time that it's, that it is the easiest, Mm -hmm. um, to just hang to out with establish or some sort of rapport going into it. Yeah. People, you know, I feel like we're all pretty similar as people or artists are at least. So, um, I've been lucky to get to work with a lot of people who have been through a lot of the same stuff that mm-hmm. I have and that it's always nice to have common ground. A uh, couple more questions before we get into our final song, which will be uh, rubberneckers. Uh, speaking of working with other artists, uh, your project back in the day, the uh, the Driftwood sw- Singers, yeah, uh, with Pearl Charles. You know, I had no idea <laughs> about that until recently. Yeah, and you put out a record, uh, an EP, and uh, another record under the uh, the Driftwood Singers. Uh, you know, about a decade ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Um, man, I just uh, you know talking about honest honesty <laughs> and thought provoking and sort of stripped down you know um, music. I just feel like you knocked it out of the park, you know, throughout I'm hearing, you know, throughout your music, you know, Death Cab for Cutie, Iron and Wine, a little bit of the Civil Wars and that, that Americana rootsy feel, man, comes out with the Driftwood Singers. Oh yeah. Um, so you guys put out a record, uh, what, in, in 2012. Um, yeah. And then before that, there was an EP in 2010 called Look, yeah. which if people do enough digging, they could find it. But we're talking about raw recordings oh, yeah. of basically the early days. For sure. I mean, we didn't know how to record ourselves. So we just got like a, we went to CVS or whatever and bought a uh, a little a thing that you would make like, you know, like Twin Peaks that Kyle McLaughlin is like making notes into like a handheld tape recorder. Yeah just recorded stuff that way. Cause we were like, that's a recording. I don't know. That's probably works to put out music with. <laughs> so it's pretty rough. It's, sounding. it's super <laughs> DIY. And I love the fact that that music is available for people to listen to. And I've, uh, I've, I'm surprised that it is. I've, I wouldn't even know where to find it at this point. But it's I'm out sure, there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, I'm, and again, I'm, I'm glad that it is. And I, I was so glad to be able to find that. And most of your stuff is on the internet. So yeah. uh, it's really accessible. It's, it's very cool. Again, Christian Lee Hudson, dot com is the website uh last question yeah um kind of a bonus question i guess uh if there was any era that you could magically transport yourself to you know getting the old way back delorean time machine <laughs> to experience the culture and the music scene uh where would you go back to for instance you know is it seattle in the 90s to experience the grunge is it uh 1977 cbgb era hmm I would probably go back to see like specific bands play. Like I would like to see like the replacements play in like the eighties or something, just like any show, mm-hmm. even a bad one. Um, there are a lot of bands like that, that I would like to see in like a tiny club on like a really raw night, especially bands that like now are doing like reunions and things like that, where it's like, it becomes, um, I know they did a reunion probably 10 years ago or something, but and I I didn't see any of those shows, but uh, yeah, I don't know. A lot of bands that when they do the reunions, it becomes like a stale version of what it once was like. So I'd like to see like bands like that um, when they're like young and uh, just messing around. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like years from now, people will be talking, speaking fondly of the scene that is happening right here in Southern California with yourself and all the other musicians that are sort of in your orbit. 
Yeah, probably so. I mean, which I'm sure by that point I'd be like, no, it's probably, it's much better now. You don't want to see that version of it. That's the bad version. <laughs> <laughs> Going to get into the last song, uh, Rubberneckers, which there's a music video available right now. And I've got these stickers, man. Yeah. <laughs> Screenshots of the music video. And you got some dance moves here. Who came up yeah. with the concept of uh, the music video for Rubberneckers? Um, my friends, Adam and Zoe, who they directed a video for off of beginners for my song lose this number and they came up with this concept because i had said like i wanted to do something that was scary to me i'm very much not a dancer in any way shape or form it makes me really anxious and i thought it would be funny to just do uh, a video where it's just me mm -hmm. dancing and so they came up with this concept and we had a great choreographer that did um a great job with someone who just truly doesn't know how to dance. Um, good for you for, for sort of getting out of your comfort zone there. Yeah. I thought I did a good job. And you know, now when I hear people talking about it or they mention it to me, they're like, Oh, I love the video where you're dancing badly. I'm like, okay. <laughs> dancing to the best of my ability. I was told it was great. <laughs> um, but yeah. So that's Rubberneckers. That's going to be our last song in studio. Man, it's a pleasure to meet you. And uh, yeah, likewise. an open door policy here. So whenever you want to come back and visit us, you uh, you have a uh, an open invitation. I'll be back next week. All right. Fair enough. You <laughs> could do my DJ show if you want. All right. Fair enough. Christian Lee Hudson on 88.5 FM. Oh, with the 
Hey there, uh, I'm Mookie from The Independent, 88.5 FM and 88.5 FM.org. Please know that we are a, a, a member-driven public radio station here in Southern California. If you want to keep the sessions going and all this amazing content, uh, video content and stuff on the air, uh, become a member through 88.5 FM.org. And we have this amazing vinyl compilation available right now of uh, sessions that we've recorded in studio and all over Southern California. A one-time donation of $100 or a monthly sustaining membership of $10 a month will get you this uh, limited edition rare piece of vinyl, uh, Studio Sessions Volume 2, um, avail available right now.